Today we're going to talk about the scientific method. And the scientific method that I'm going to use has six easy steps. Um, there are different versions of the scientific method. Some have less steps, some have more, but they all have the same consistency. They all have the same ideas on what needs to be accomplished to find out what happens uh, when you're trying to answer your question for state the problem uh, for an experiment. So scientists use it, many people use it uh, around the world to answer questions that they um, don't know the answers to, what they're trying to solve. Okay, so there's the six steps. The first step is state the problem, and the second step is gather the information. The third step is form a hypothesis, and the fourth is perform an experiment, and the fifth is analyze the data, and the sixth is display the results. So I came up with a uh, Thing to remember the six steps in order and it's silly goofy friends play all day you take the first letter for each of those and it's the first letter for the scientific method so silly begins with s and state the problem state begins with s goofy begins with g and gather the information gather begins with g f for friends also starts uh, form starts with the letter F. P for play, P for perform, A for all, A for analyze, D for day, um, D for display. So if you can remember silly, goofy friends play all day, you could at least remember the order of the scientific method. Okay, the first step is state the problem. It's usually a, a question or whatever you're trying to answer. So if you were doing which liquid um, reacts the fastest to Mentos candy, Coke or Diet Coke, um, this would be your state the problem, be your question. What are you trying to answer? The next step is to gather the information. So with that same experiment, you would need to have the same size Coke and the same size Diet Coke. You would have to have the same amount of Mentos. You have to have the same temperature and have them on the same level, you'd have to have a timer to um, time each one, the reaction time. And number three is form a hypothesis. So a hypothesis is just something that you think is going to happen um, in the experiment, you, how you think it's going to end. So can your hypothesis be incorrect? Yes, it can be, and your experiment can still be good. So in other words, if you were to make a hypothesis about which liquid reacts the fastest, uh, I'm sorry, which, which liquid reacts the fastest to Mentos candy, Coke or Diet Coke, you could say, my hypothesis is that Coca-Cola will react the fastest. My hypothesis is that Diet Coke will react the fastest. Or you could say that I think they'll react at the same time. Or I think there will be no reaction. But that would be your guess of what's going to happen based on what you know. And the fourth step is to perform the experiment. So you go ahead and put the Mentos in and the pop and see what happened. And then analyzing the data, you would say, okay, uh, Diet Coke was one and a half seconds and Coca-Cola was three seconds. That's analyzing what you had done. And then your conclusion, or display your results, your conclusion for the project, or your question, your experiment. What happened? And you would say, my hypothesis was correct. I thought Diet Coke would react the fastest, and it did. It reacted in this amount of time versus Coca-Cola. Or you could say the opposite. You could say, I thought um, Coke would react the fastest, my hypothesis was incorrect, and that's how you would do your experiment and why we go through the steps of the scientific method. Oh, and you can practice too. So one is state the problem, two is gather the information, three is form a hypothesis, four is perform an experiment, five is analyze the data, and six is to display your results. So practice on your own.